All right, so we're here in Unreal, and I'm gonna begin by exporting a bunch of stuff out of Unreal into Maya, and then later on, we'll get into the process of exporting stuff from Maya back into Unreal. But let's begin here. And I have here a level sequence, which you make by just clicking on this here and add level sequence. And I've created a camera, which you do by just clicking on the little camera button here. And I've positioned it here as just sort of a starting place of kind of where I think I might want to be looking from my camera and my shot. And then what I'm going to do is, first of all, I can export out this camera. And so I go export and give it a name. And I give it a name where I want to write it out to. You see I already have a camera here. And I'll just say save. And then we have the export settings here, FBX exports. You just keep that all on the default settings and just click export. And it's just that easy. In addition to that, I also want to get the ground plane. So you just click on this little select objects button and you click and I can then here, if I click on this guy here, that'll give me the street and I see it's over here in the outliner and I just drag that into my sequencer. I'm going to pick this back street too, drag that in and I'm going to pick just for some context visually, I'm going to pick these cars here and drag those guys in and you then can, let me just drag these so they're all together. You could either one at a time export, or if you want to export all of the geometry at once, you can just again right click and say export and same process. What I also want to do is I have in here, it's actually off right now, let me turn it on, the sunlight and I want to export out that as well. So I'm going to drag that into here and you just right click, export and save it out as an FBX. There's one more thing I want to do and that is I want to export out the buildings that are casting these shadows so I can use them to cast shadows in my Maya scene. So the way we have to do that is I'm in the pick mode here and I'm just going to kind of turn around and look where I think that shadow might be coming from on my scene here. And I'll just, you pick something, you'd be like, I think it's this guy. And you turn off the visibility and shadow goes away and you know that you're right. And then likewise for this shadow here, you know, you can try picking something and say, oh, maybe it's this guy and you turn it off and nope, you're wrong. And try this guy turn it off and yep that's right and then once you find it like before you just drag this over into here and let's also pick this guy and drag that over into here as well and then you can s select these two guys here and right click and export them out and here we jump into Maya and you can see I've already read in the FBX files where I have this and I've already positioned my Maya geometry to be the in the right position and scale to be driving down the street later. And I also have the camera in here. And if you look in your Unreal scene at your camera there, you'll see that it matches exactly, which is fantastic. And what I've done with the geometry is I've actually read in the FBX files and then exported them out as Arnold uh, .ass files, which you do over here, scene export, export selected to ASS. And so I did that and then read it back in as stand-ins. And that's nice because th this, these are massive geometries sometimes. So to summarize all the stuff we've imported into here, we've got the directional light from Unreal, which we're gonna use for the sunlight and the shadow casting. We've got the dome light, which we're um, using the panoramic 
360 render that we've got out of Unreal for our indirect lighting and skylight. We've got this ground planes and also these really gigantic geometry for the shadow casting objects. So we kind of have from here the context of where are we in the world, you know, where's the street, where's the cars surrounding our CG asset, and also the, the lighting from Unreal onto our CG asset. All of this stuff we're going to be going into in more detail when we talk about the rendering from Maya, but the next thing that we want to look at is not only how to get stuff from Unreal into Maya, but the other way around, how to get stuff from Maya into Unreal.